Day one. Day number two. Day three. Day four. Day five. Day six. Day seven. Day eight. Day nine. Day ten. Day 11, day 12, day 13, day 14, day 16, 15, day 16, day 17, day 18, day 19, episode 20, day 21, day 22, day 23, day 24, day 25, day 26, episode 27, day 28, day... 30, day 31, day 32, episode 33, day 34, not just day 34, but the final day. The final day of the Here to Here comedy tour. Hello, uh, welcome to day 34. Not just day 34, but the final day. The final day of the Here to Here comedy tour, sponsored by my good friend at Phonak. And uh, it's a bittersweet day. No, get rid of the sweet. It's just a bitter day. It's been a great tour. And uh, thank you so much for following along, everybody at home. And uh, thank you to Jill and everybody at Phonak for putting this on. It's been a wonderful experience. And uh, Driver Mike, Driver Mike is back at the RV. So uh, uh, he knows how I feel about him. But thank you to Driver Mike. Thank you to Justin for everything he does. I've said it before, I'll say it again, this guy. I'm coming in for the hug. This is a thing. I wish we would have started it from day one. Yeah, so this is the final day. We're at Yale tonight. Yale University. I've always wanted to go to Yale. I feel like they'll give me an honorary degree if I just ask. I think that's how it works. I say, yo, can I get a degree? They're like, absolutely, bro. Somebody asked me like, what the point of the tour is, so I was thinking long and hard on it. And I said originally the point was for me to just have fun. And that is true, and I did achieve that. I had a lot of fun. But I was thinking uh, even deeper than that, I think the point of the tour is, uh, when people talk about disabilities, they always talk about like either, oh, the pity aspect, like, oh, look at that person, they have a disability, we should feel sorry for them. Or they go the totally opposite end, where we're like, oh, look at this amazing thing they achieved despite their disability. So it's still kind of rooted in pity, uh, but it's either the pity or the pedestal, that's the two way the two ways of thinking of disabilities. I think the point of this tour, and I hope we achieved it to some degree, is that there's a whole world in between the pity and the pedestal. Whole spectrum, people living with different disabilities, living their regular lives, and uh, that's something that should be celebrated and shown on camera as well. It's not always here or here, it's everything in between too. So I think the tour helped to achieve that a little bit, and uh, we had some fun along the way. My favorite memory, I'm gonna come up with one right now, my favorite memory was, it's coming up right away, skating, playing hockey at Miami U. The good old Canadian boy in me got so excited. Tim Hortons, that was a wonderful day. Many memories, but that one stands out. Jill, what's your favorite memory? You have one? Probably hanging out on the RV, just in general, but also whenever we met with Julian and uh, Karen and play guitar and mm -hmm. the other heroes, Kirsten, and uh, decorating hearing aids with Jessica. Just everyone we met with hearing loss who we talked to, it was really, really cool. Justin? I think my favorite moment was in San Francisco. I've never been to San Francisco ever in my life. So like seeing the sunset with the Golden Gate Bridge in the background. Mm -hmm. We did the, what do you call it, the Friends intro. I mean not Friends, uh, Full House intro. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you look, everywhere you go. And I get to make a video every day of the trip. And I love making videos, so. Well, why don't you comment, let us know what your favorite memory from the trip was. 35 days, 34 days to choose from, so a lot has gone on. I'm wearing the Hawaiian shirt, that's what I started with, that's what I'm ending with. And uh, we're gonna go play some basketball before the show. We got Vincent, he's also from Phonak. He's waiting for us, just playing by himself. So let's not leave him lonely too long. Thank you for tuning in today, the whole tour. Greatly appreciate it to uh, everybody who watched, hard of hearing or hearing and everything in between. Appreciate you greatly. Thank you, final day, let's do it. What was your favorite part of the tour? <laughs> My favorite part of the tour, mm -hmm. I would have to say is having cameraman Justin having Jill and yourself out on the road with me and I can actually say you have some little tour experience but never 30 days straight 20 days in 20 shows mm -hmm. Justin first time on the road awesome 
Jill first time on the road, awesome. It was great because I'm kind of jaded when it comes down to being on the road all the time. Mm -hmm. So it was really nice to have fresh enthusiasm for traveling around the country again. It was awesome. Good job, guys. That was so sweet. That was my favorite part. You asked. Come here. All right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking to Yale now. This is Joshua. Hello. He's putting on the show, so he said it's going to be a good show? Uh, no promises, hold. All right. No promises? It's going to be a fantastic show. I'm <laughs> just joking. Don't worry. It's going to be a it's great gonna show. It's going to be a great show. We're going to have a great finale. What's the finale? Well, it's the end of the tour, right? You have to make it. The oh, finale. of the tour. I thought you meant the show. Oh, I thought you meant somebody sorry. was coming up after me. Like, <laughs> no, no, don't no, worry. No. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. You are the you are the show stopper. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's keep walking. <laughs> Good to see you. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, cool. Well, I'm a little less embarrassed now. Or more embarrassed? I don't know. You're coming to see me? I am. That's cool. Yes, I'm really excited. Yeah. So, how, are you like with a group or something? Or you just heard, you know, me? Or Yeah, AGT is my favorite show. Oh, really? Yeah. Heads up behind you. Okay. Uh, that's cool. So, you saw me on AGT? Yeah. Cool. Just bought this shirt from J. Crew. Just letting you know. We're going to do some curls before the show for old time's sake. Oh, my God. Why? Oh, is that 50s? I don't know. I didn't look at the weight. They, look like 50s. they do, but they feel like 100s. Woo! Yale, baby! This is the last night. 20 colleges we've done in 34 days, traveled across uh, the entire nation, and uh, we got to cap it off here at Yale. So I'm very excited. Thank you very much for having me. Give yourselves a round of applause. Not a single person knew George A. Muir's son? Cool, I'm not gonna dwell on that. <laughs> you live your life loving George A. Muir's son, you think everybody else is walking around thinking about George A. Muir's son. You know, you have to hear a radio ad seven times for you to remember it. I think I said George A. Muir's son five times there, six now, so we'll see by the end of the show how many people Google George A. Muir's son. <laughs> I got a Google alert for George A. Muir's son, so I'll see if you write anything about him. That's a written part of the show. I say that at every single show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Yale. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Heard or misheard that caused like a huge misunderstanding. Mm. I used so I was talking to Joshua about how after you say pardon a couple times. Um, there's that third time you don't want to say it again and usually my go-to is to say yes no matter what that third time because I'm like I'm not going to be negative and say no so I'll say yes I don't care what I'm signing up for here I'll say yes and uh, one time I had this lady come up to me on the street and she was in a little bit of a panic but nothing too crazy but she was like blah, 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 like said something and I didn't hear it and I was like oh, I'm sorry one more time and she eh, said it again and I'm like one more time and she said it again and then I was like yes and she went, ah, and just ran away as fast as she could. <laughs> so I have no idea what I said yes to. I hope she's okay. Oh, and one time I was at a coffee shop when I was really young. This is one of my earliest memories. I'm like eight or nine. My mom had given me money. I was allowed to go get like a cappuccino or something. It was an exciting day. Uh, and and a, a donut or whatever. And uh, I got the donut and the, and the coffee and I was leaving. I don't think it was coffee. I don't think my mom was that bad of a mom. But it was some... <laughs> Some hot treat, hot chocolate maybe? And uh, I'm leaving, and then the lady was like, blah, blah, said something. And uh, I know that's a horrible impression of what ladies sound like. I'm just saying, basically the point is I didn't hear at all what she said. She said something, and I was like, uh, no thank you. And I left, and then she ran out of the store, and she grabbed me, and look what, she's like, I said you have to pay for that. <laughs> so I just have my drink and donut, and she's like, you have to pay for that. I'm like, no thank you. <laughs> Like I thought I was real slick or something, but uh, yeah, so those are two memories that pop up in my head for that. Yeah, great question. Thank you very much. Yale, you guys have been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. You guys are phenomenal. Come say hello after the show. One more time for your interpreters, everybody. Sarah and Colleen. And for your captioner as well, everybody. It's over. That's it. That's episode 34, the final time. Tomorrow morning we will not be waking up and getting on the RV and going to a new place. I don't even remember how I lived life before this RV. What am I supposed to do? Who am I? Where do I go? 
Thank you to Phonak for uh, putting on this tour. What an amazing experience it's been. Um, so incredible. Thank you to Yale for being such a great final show. How you doing? <laughs> uh, what a great show. Yale, tip of the hat to you. Uh, mail me the honorary degree. We don't have to do it tonight. We've got to get out of here. Uh, so that's it. So like I said today, I guess the whole point of the tour in my mind, now that it's over, uh, I think is to remember with disabilities, hearing disability, it's not always between the pity and the pedestal. There's a lot of, everybody's living in that spectrum in between and we will steal your girl. That's not, the, that's not, that's not it. But we're all living regular lives, special lives, not so special lives, everything in between. And uh, that's the point. Destigmatize hearing loss. Hearing aids are cool. They are kind of cool. See you later, everybody. Oh, I got a toothpick behind my ear. See you, everyone. Justin, you the man. Joe, you the woman. Mike, you the man with the plan. All right. Vincent, you just came yesterday, but I love you. I respect the hell out of you. Justin, mwah. See you, everybody. Hey, did you like what you saw? Then you should probably hit here to subscribe or here to watch the next video or right here for a random video.